No matter how careful we are, it can be easy to get trapped into an internet scam. It happens. You know what? I almost got caught in one, which is what? crazy. Like, I'm very savvy about the, well, uh -huh. I thought I was. So today we're getting advice on what you can do to protect yourself from scammers. Nicole Webb from Wealth Enhancement Group is filling in for Bruce today. Hi, Nicole. Hi, good morning, guys. Nicole, Thank you. I am very internet savvy, and I almost got caught up. Was it an email or was it? This was an eBay scam oh. where I uh, thought I was going to buy a car. And as it kind of got down the negotiation, I, it made kind of some red flags go up, and I said, I don't know about this. Yeah, I even had a client just recently tell me about a scam that he he caught on to, and it was actually through Craigslist, PayPal of all things. Oh, wow. Yeah, someone who wanted to set up making sure there was a receipt for the mm -hmm. transaction. So um, this, this happens to a lot of people and not just, you know, you, you think, no. oh, that would never happen because I'm so careful. And you have some tips to protect yourself. Yeah. The first is starting with passwords. Yeah. So I think about it as a hygiene regimen, right? Okay. Taking care of your personal hygiene as it relates to what you're putting out there. So strong passwords is a great first step. But also, a lot of people don't realize that those quiz that social media promotes mm -hmm. are often phishing scams of their own. They get you to tell personal information like what was your first dog's name, right, to make mm -hmm. predictions about your personality. So be careful. Make sure if you're going to do those fun quizzes yeah. that it's from some company that right. you know. Yep. Or build walls around your personal identity along with walls around your credit. So this week we've heard a lot about topics like freezing, sure. fraud alerts. Because the experience. Yeah. Yep. Another big one is uh, mailbox theft rampant okay. in this country. So start considering a P.O. box if you're someone who's still paying bills with checks. Okay, I, uh, well, I've seen a lot of people save passwords on their computer. Yeah. And a lot of times now it's even traveling from computer to computer on a browser. Yeah. And you're saying don't do that. Do not do that. Please do your very best to try and use different passwords for different websites. Don't make your life as easy as saving those passwords. You need so many passwords, though. Come That's on, what's Nicole. so hard. There's no chance. You don't <laughs> save any of your passwords so on your computer? I'm not going to say that I have personal, <laughs> I, don't, I don't have the perfect hygiene when it comes to this, but I've thought maybe, you remember the little black book, the little black address yeah. book? Uh -huh. yeah. Perhaps we start thinking about keeping a little black book somewhere in our home in a secure location that helps us for when we forget these things. Yeah, instead of saving it's them. Because every time I have to switch a computer. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember what it is. It. Well, Online shopping, I mentioned my own kind of uh, tussle mm -hmm. with a scammer. Yeah. Uh, be cautious of online really shopping. Really cautious of yeah. online shopping, especially those deep, deep discount retailers. Who knows if they're actually just discounting items so that they can sell your information on the back side. So really? Be, just be careful. Wow. Big names you know you can trust. Yes, you can. Absolutely. But you know you do a Google so shopping packed. search and you see kind of this great price, you, you just don't know. Reconsider or yeah. pick up the phone and call. You mentioned a couple of ways to protect your personal information. Any other tips? Yeah, you know, one of the biggest ones for me would be stop carrying so much information in your purse. It's another one people don't think about often, sure. carrying your entire checkbook loosely in that bag, putting it on the back of your chair. We're good Minnesotans. We trust that no one's yeah. going to shove their hand backwards yeah. while we're just drinking our coffee, chatting sure. with our friends. Very good. Good tips. All right, Nicole, thank you. Thank you.